Hello everybody, let's go ahead and get started on a love reading for you. Holy crap, what just flew out, I don't know if you guys saw that in the corner of the screen, was the Magician. So I'm going to go ahead and take it first card out. Magician. So Mercury Retrograde is the Magician. Mercury is the Magician, excuse me, should I say. Um, with that said, Mercury is the planet of communication as well. With the planet of communication now going into retrograde, this could mean that past people that you haven't seen in a really long time do resurface. So if that is something, whether you've been, whether you know it or not, it's something that has been manifesting, something that's been brewing behind the scenes. I want to go ahead and get all the cards out before I go ahead, like start this reading and make any assumptions because I have a feeling this one's going to be a little bit trickier. All right. So what's in the challenge position or what is crossing you is going to be the Knight of Pentacles, okay? Sorry, I'm trying to get all these cards out of the way because I'm going to do a Celtic cross. Spirit, please show me what messages do we have for the lovers. What do we got? We got the Page of Wands. So yeah, there will be a message. Queen of Cups, okay? So now we have a Queen, a Knight, and a Page, and a Magician. Spirit, please show me the love and relationships nine of pentacles so yeah someone here who has been single very single-minded two of wands two of pentacles so choices somebody weighing up their options somebody could be juggling between two people two things a judgment call all right final horn is being blown what do we got here this one landed face down i it is the tower though so I'm going to put it back in. If it wants to come back out, it will. Spirit, please show me what is in the hopes and fears of this connection. Oh, wow. Hopes and fears. We've got the Hierophant. That's better than the Tower. And then for the possible outcome for the Mercury retrograde for this couple, we've got the Nine of Swords. Okay. So not everything. The Four of Pentacles. Someone here holding back. Somebody is a miser. Somebody here who's like, you know, not wanting to also let go. Okay, somebody who is blocking their heart. Listen, with the Four of Pentacles as the overall energy, I feel like this is someone who is like trying to hold back. Um, you know, or for some of you, this person has not let go of the idea and they don't want to let you go. And so this person has been manifesting a new opportunity with you. That's what the magician uh, represents is this new opportunity. And so I feel like the challenge is, is this person has taken a very long time with the Knight of Pentacles because, you know, it's like they're not really moving out. They're not doing anything. They're just standing there, you know? And so the challenge is, is to get this horse a moving, you know, but instead this person has been holding back from actually offering up their cup of love. And look at this. We've got the King of, Pen or King, uh, King of Cups to the Queen of Cups. So this is a match. This is a divine counterpart. So this is, um, yeah, the devil. So the king of cups, very well, it could have been a toxic relationship between you and this other individual. And a lot of you like made a decision with the two of uh, swords here to let it go. Okay, so you let this relationship go with this individual. They're wanting to come back in, but they're holding back. Okay, I feel like they're holding back. And so they're seeing their queen of cups just slipping through their fingers. It's like she is now in the past. So she has successfully made it to the past, but he can't stop thinking about her. Okay. And I'm going to read this as I'm seeing it because we did see the king of uh, cups and the queen of cups. So with that said, I feel like he is trying to manifest a new opportunity with her. He is wanting to reach out and I feel like they're, you know, but they're doing everything they can to hold themselves back. It's like they want to manifest and make sure that they have everything right, okay? Because they're at the nine of pentacles. They're not quite at that ten of pentacles just yet. We've got nine here, and with that one, we have the ten. So it's like, uh, I got to make sure, you know, I'm holding back. I don't have it, you know, maybe it's not having enough money or resources or time because pentacles are about time. It's about energy. It's about effort. Okay. And so they're holding back. Some of you guys are holding back and you know, you're, you're okay with being single. Like nine of pentacles. This is not somebody who is miserable being single. 
And I feel like that's how this individual sees you is they see you as somebody who is very single, independent, has everything that they need, and they want to make sure that they have something to offer. And so what the Knight of Pentacles does is they want to make, they take their sweet ass time to make a decision because they're so busy planning for the future. But with the, the Knight of Pentacles that is literally facing the Two of Wands, they're not making any action. Like they're not, excuse me, they're not taking any action. And that's the challenge is to take the action. So I feel like the challenge is to stop holding yourself back, them to stop holding themselves back. But they're afraid that if they reach out, you might hold back. So how everyone is seeing you in this situation is, you know, you're, you're, or even them, they're juggling, you're juggling. I feel like both of you guys are, you know, juggling just a lot of different things right now. I think for some of you, you're juggling whether or not, like, do I want to be in a relationship again? You know, because she goes from the queen of cups and she's like kind of more focused on her future. She's done focusing on the past. This situation is definitely like a past situation. So, but there hasn't been any closure. That's what I get with this. Like someone here is wanting to reach out. They're, they're working on making this choice. You know, I almost get this energy of somebody fumbled somebody. I get a fumbling energy with this. They fumbled it, you know? They were juggling maybe too many different things. They were juggling, you know, too many people, uh, too many scenarios. Like, because I see a page, a knight, and a queen. Page and a knight and a queen. The major arcanas that hold the most weight in this whole entire situation is the magician the judgment card and the hierophant. So <clears throat> what's happening in the environment is there is a judgment call. Okay. Someone here is blowing or has already blown the final horn or somebody feels judged. Somebody definitely is feeling judged. But I feel like somebody here is weighing up, like, it's almost like they didn't do right by this Queen of Cups because she's facing the past. She's like been, you know, she she's drifting further and further away. Like, I just see her being swept out on this, uh, this the next wave will actually, like, take her out completely. Because why? Because there's been so much time. Because there was no movement for a very long time. Someone here was very immature when it came to relationships. And someone here didn't manifest, didn't offer up that pentacle. And so she's gone out and she's holding herself back now. She's holding herself out for the one. And that's what she's making a judgment call about. Like in the hopes and fears, this queen of cups is someone who is wanting a long term. That's what the hierophant is all about. It's, you know, the long-term marriage commitment, the traditional lifestyle. And that was the judgment that was made, okay? And I feel like this masculine who maybe held himself back, you know, was because that's what the, this is, is, oh man, I was non-committal, you know? And I feel like, you know, the masculine is like, oh my gosh, like I should have committed a long time ago. And I didn't do that. And now he's fearing that because this is our hopes and fears. He's fearing that because he didn't commit. And I say he's fearing that because the outcome is the nine of swords. I didn't commit. I didn't, I didn't make that call. I didn't, you know, I didn't reach out. I, I literally sat on this and I sat on it for too long. And because of that, like, she's building her own future. 
She's and then she's looking over here at the the hierophant, the nine of pentacles to the hierophant. She's looking at that hierophant like I will be happy alone until I find somebody who's willing to commit. Cuz I already have everything. I don't I don't really need anything. It'd just be nice to have someone to share her life with, you know, see two people down here. You know, two people. This is the partnership. That's the key. So I do feel like someone here is weighing up whether or not they should reach out and offer up a reconciliation. But I absolutely feel with this nine of swords, this person is shitting their pants. They are like, should I, shouldn't I? You know, <laughs> I just saw, uh, she loves me, she loves me not. She loves me, she loves me not. But there's all these worries, you know, and I feel like this person is all up in their head. But it's funny because this is the outcome, but all these other cards, like that's like the darkest one. It's like this person is thinking about all these things and that's what ends up fucking them up. You got one swords card here besides the sword in the, in the magician, which the sword in the magician is like, you have all the tools. So I feel like, but this person is so, I get intimidated because I mean, you got the hierophant here and the magician. This is a very powerful individual that you're dealing with. This is really powerful manifestation energy at that. A lot of pentacles here too. So this is about, you know, somebody who is wanting something that is like going to have an opportunity of growth. Like, see, you plant that seed, right? You plant that seed into the ground and what do you get? You get the fruits of your labor. You know, you get grapes. What do you do with grapes? Well, you can eat grapes. You make grape jam. You can make wine, grape juice, you know, like. There's plenty of grapeseed oil or whatever. I, I think that comes from grapes. I don't know. I could be wrong. <laughs> but that came to me, so I'm going to put it out there. But you know what I mean. So I do see with this, um, this bird here, too. They just pointed that out. This bird here, there is going to be a message that's coming in, and it very well could come through on the World Wide Web. You could get an email. You could get a phone call, a text message, an email, messenger. You know, it could be any one of those things. Someone here is definitely watching you. I feel like they're watching you. They're looking out. They're checking up on you because, and maybe you don't even see that they're doing that, okay, because your back is turned to this person. But they know that they need to come forward. They know that they need to say something. But they also know that they can't come in immature. Because that's what this energy is right here. This is a very immature, like, hey, it's a really freaking annoying energy. You know, I'm not going to lie. Like, a, a, a goddess, an empress, does not want to have some weenie come in <laughs> that, like, is just like, hey, what you doing? You know, like. That's great and all come in nice and kind and sweet and whatever, but you know, you better have a plan because that's what the Knight of Pentacles is all about. And that's in the challenge position is you better have a plan. And I feel like this individual is making a plan. And in the meantime, he's hoping that with, you know, all these pentacles here that you'll wait for them, you know, because it is about time. And the Hierophant is all about timing and that's in their hopes and fears. And they're fearing that they, they've run out of time. For some of you, it's going to be a yes. They have run out of time. And for some of you, it's a no. Everybody's going to, you know, have their own outcome. So spirit, whoa, that card just came out. What is the, yeah, attraction. So um, then I, the bottom of the deck, yeah, I see separation. So Spirit, what is the advice for the masculine? What is the advice for this masculine, Spirit? What is the advice for the masculine? Okay, children. Your love life is being affected by children. What did I say? Quit acting like a kid. You know, don't come in like a child. The advice is don't come in all immature. You know?
I think for some of you in this hopes and fears is this person is hoping like, I think that they've always seen the two of you guys together. They've always like, even though you guys may be, a, you guys are apart. This person has never let go of the idea that the two of you guys would come back together. But now they're getting nervous knowing that it's like they've waited a really long time and the urge is getting like is much stronger to connect with you. And now they're in this freak out mode. You know how you like freak out? You know you need to do something, whether it's like quit a job or break up with somebody or, you know, you want to ask that person out and you're like, oh my God, I'm so sick. Oh my God, I'm so sick. Like, oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw up or, you know, because you're just like so freaking nervous. That's kind of, that's what I'm getting out of this person, you know, is that they're freaking nervous. Like they come off like everything's okay and that they, you know, are ready to go into a battle and everything. But deep down inside, this person is literally freaking the fuck out. <laughs> but it's like, once you do it, you feel so much better. You're like, Oh God, I'm so glad. I'm so glad I did that. So yeah, pay attention to the red flags. Like don't come in like a little kid. You better come in and you better, if you're going to do it, you better come in. Correct. See, there's a lot of chemistry. So there is a strong magnetic attraction that is pulling you back to this person. And yeah, pulling you back, calling in your soulmate, your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring the two of you together. But I feel like the overall energy, love yourself first, your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive was, you know, to, that was like your challenge is to like, I love myself, you know, I've already done the healing work on myself, like not letting somebody else pull you off your beaten path. And that's part of the lessons with the Hierophant here, because the Hierophant is all about learning the spiritual lessons and unlocking with those keys there, unlocking the lesson and to the, or, you know, the door to the next lesson, right? And so fives can be about change and they're change created by outside forces beyond your control. And there's nothing you can do about it. And it's created through chaos because the universe is like, I want to help you manifest, but I also need you to learn these lessons. And especially if you're wanting, like, you know, it's one thing to have a magnetic attraction to somebody, but there has to be something of substance to the relationship with all these pentacles here. It can't just be, oh, I'll, you know, oh, I'll just, you know, throw them some, mo yeah, emotion's great, passion's great, but you have to have sustenance to the relationship. There has to be like the bricks and mortar because that's what Saturn represents. And that's, you know, even though this, this is Taurus, it, it is Saturn. You know, and Saturn is all about rules, laws, restriction, and responsibility. That's, you know, think about the church. Oh, you're not supposed to live with, you know, your divine counterpart unless you're going to commit to them, you know? And that's the way it used to be back in the old days. I always feel like we need to go back to that because we would have probably have a lot less, you know, breakups and people just, you know, flying by the seat of their pants like they're doing anymore. You know, we have a lot of people who are non-committal too, who don't want to do things in a completely non-traditional way, which is totally understandable. I can get that, but at least let the other person know so that they're on board with it, <laughs> you know? So what is the messages for the divine feminine or the feminine? Yeah. Let go, let go. Okay. Sometimes it's best to let go and let the universe work things out in divine timing. That's what I'm talking about. We've just seen that right here. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring the two of you together, calling in your soulmate. But you had to let go. She had to let go. And that's why she's over here in the past doing her own thing. She's not even, like, she's got her back turned to this whole situation. She's, you know, working on her own manifestation. She's probably healing some things for, of hers from the past as well. Uh, what advice do you have for the divine, or this feminine? What advice do we have for the feminine spirit? Heart, yeah. You begin to your to feel your heart beat fast when you are closed. She, the Queen of Cups, is somebody who is all about the heart. And I, I want to say with the letting go and the heart, she's let go of the feelings that she's had for this person in her heart. There's a little bit left, like there's something like still in there, but a lot of it has been let, like she's had to let go in order for her to. Yeah, it was like self-preservation, but there's still like a little piece in there that hasn't fully let go. And what do we got here? 
yeah, embrace, embrace what destiny has in store for you. And we, uh, past lives, we reunite with our loved ones over and over again through many different lives. And I do see that here with the Hierophant and the Judgment card here. This is very much a rebirth from a past life situation. And the two of you guys are being brought back together in this lifetime to heal a lesson from a past life. And I feel like, I, I do feel like this masculine fumbled. He was juggling, okay? And yeah, I, what did I say about this hierophant here? It was about commitment. It was always about commitment. Bottom of the deck, commitment is an important factor to achieve a successful relationship. You cannot have a successful relationship without the two of you committing to the same path, committing to working together for the same common goal. Otherwise, what are you doing in a relationship? I never understood those types of relationships and I see them all the freaking time where two people, all they do is just work at cross purposes. They're fighting over everything. They can't even, they can't even do one simple task with the other party without nitpicking them or without, you know, one upping their partner or being in a, uh, you know, or well, we're not committed anyway. We're not married. So you can't tell me what to do. Yeah. Well, in this scenario, this person loves themselves enough that if they are not going to be committed to that by this uh, king of cups that was connected to some type of toxicity, maybe when it came to love, because it is the king of cups here, and we also do have the knight of cups here. So he could have been very immature in love. Uh, he was just more focused on the intimacy and not the actual love. Yeah, because there, it was like there was unrequited love. It was like where one person was giving more love than the other. Commitment is everything, you guys, when it comes to a relationship. Don't come on to these channels and look for somebody not wanting to actually commit to them because I'm going to tell you right now, the followers that are on my channel and the ones that I see that uh, on a personal basis, they're playing for keeps. So this isn't like we're flying by the seat of our pants and two, 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 two. I just saw that. Uh, cool. Uh, partnerships and choices and decisions. And we do have two twos here. So this really is about choices and decisions and manifesting your heart's desire, really. Um, commitment is everything, you guys. I can't stress that enough. Someone here is worried about taking that plunge. Um, they might even be worried about coming back in and asking you to marry them. They're, they might just like, because I do get the Uranian energy too. And it's like, they're like, you know what? I'm just going to go in and do it. I, I'm just going to go in and do it. And I think that they're, they're scared to death. They're holding back, but I almost feel like it's something that you can see in the future, uh, for some of you, obviously you guys need to get a personal reading, um, to know if this is all your story, take what resonates, discard the rest. Check me out on Facebook and Instagram. You guys, I am doing the buy one gift one half off sale. Um, on my, you go onto the website, it'll tell you how to get that signed up for that. Those have been selling like hotcakes. Uh, it's always the best time to get in, um, on those. Anyway, you guys, I love you all so much and I hope you have a beautiful day and we will chat again soon. Take care.